What's up guys, this is the Rofeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the British Empire. So, to round off how we happened last time, uh, I zoomed all the way out. So that's why the, uh, <laughs> the screen looks a bit funky and I can't zoom it back in. But the actual engagement is this army here, under Captain Chadwick Curzon. It has been marching east towards the Russians and they've been intercepted, which is fine by me, because uh, they were our target. So, let's crack on and destroy them. They will be supported by a small Polish contingent. However, I do not think it will be significant. So this will be the start. So this army that's marching up will be the start of my Vilnius garrison, allowing the current Vilnius garrison to march out and uh, potentially take Riga and then march onward to St. Petersburg. So if we capture St. Petersburg, that means Russia has no access to the Baltic Sea. So I doubt they will let that stand for too long. So let's deploy, deploy our men in a bit of a conservative position because we are fighting. We are fighting with uh, a bit of a numerical disadvantage, but a severe qualitative advantage. Such as our infantry are excellent in melee combat with their upgraded bayonets, and they're also excellent in ranged combat. However, my cavalry are likely to have their work cut out for them. So I would like them to march towards our guns, where our application of firepower will give us a decisive edge. So the cavalry is pushing up on each flank. Let these men get a volley off and drop into square. You men drop into square prematurely. Then these men counter charge the enemy horse. Not likely they will last long. Similar up here. Counter Actually, do I need to counter charge? Probably not. You guys drop into square. Switch to cast a shot and aim at the regiment of horse. Cavalry has been destroyed on the flank. Deploy our infantry again. Cavalry has launched their attacks into our square formation, so let's counter charge with our regiment of horse. So our line infantry has seen off, or will see off, one of these units. Go to switch the cast shot and hit the general's bodyguard. These men stay in square and kill the Russian general as they come. The Russian cavalry has been broken, but not shattered, so let's pull my cavalry out. The general's bodyguard will fall quickly. Ideally, they will. There we go, my cavalry can fight the general. These men have a much greater purpose. By the looks of things, The actual combat is going to be a bit spread out onto uh, both of our flanks. Ah, too bad we've got a bit of a sound snafu. The regiment, uh, the uh, regiment of foot is broken. 
the, uh, the sixth is broken, so here come the 24. They are shaken. I want my cavalry to go around and hit the sixth to keep them broken. This regiment here can go and chase down. Actually, no, you're okay. By the looks of it, their militia are going to fall long before they get to our position. You have some Cossack infantry that might cause problems. Okay, let's push the infantry up here. Let's combine these troops together to give us they can give each other some support. The cavalry here is going to I want to shatter that infantry. So these men can spit, can pivot to go fight. Cossacks, these two units can stay strong and push up. Come on, shatter them. That's all I want. You don't need to kill them, just shatter them so they don't come back. I mean, they probably wouldn't come back now, but I'd rather make sure. So then I've got the 8th Regiment here. Okay, the battle in the centre is going well. Ah, oh, nuts. Militia. Yeah, understandably, that's really upset a unit of infantry. Yep, and they have fallen. So positioned to fire into the flank of that militia. You guys hit the 39th. The 7th finally have they've shattered those men there. So let's run back towards the centre. Artillery can fire round shot into the Cossacks. Throw the Grenadiers into the mix against the infantry here. I've just canister shot a bunch of my own dudes. If you could come back, that would be great. I could keep attacking, because I want to try and see if I can shatter them. It doesn't look like I can. You guys want to canister shot 24th. You men, pivot back. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Pikemen are still sat at the back. Let's bring my cavalry up to hit the 24th in the rear. The 8th have annihilated the 39th. But the Polish militia is advancing. So let's bring my cavalry back. These men open fire. You guys are outside of canister shot range, just... Actually, let's get my artillery to just keep plinking at the pikemen all the way to the rear. Okay. Let's actually advance my men up like so. So the Russian infantry does suffer from a bit slightly dodgy morale, so they might could break them if it goes well. So this artillery unit. Maybe throw my line in against the regiment of foot to help out my cavalry. Keep pushing up. Cossacks are actually doing okay. Cavalry's broken. My men still might be enough to push off the 24th, although it looks like it might be a bit of a toss of a coin. Let's 
bring my cavalry around onto the right flank. If I can knock out the 7th, that would be great, because then I throw my grenadiers into this melee fight. Pike unit back there, so you want to be careful with them. Come on, Grenadier should tip the balance, surely. Here comes the enemy pikes. One last volley. If I could, if I could make them break, that would be excellent. Good stuff. Charge my cavalry in there to knock out their artillery. Keep my what's well, not to knock out their, their artillery. Let's try and decisively beat the 24th Regiment of Foot, because they've stuck around quite convincingly. So run the cavalry away. Keep them, keep them guessing. Let's push up my infantry block to engage their pikes, well, to, to shoot their pikes. Cavalry running. Try to make some space for the canister shot to come in. Shaken. Canister shot coming in. They're wavering. Seven. Chase them down. Do not let them reform. This infantry can just hunker down and get a rest. These men are going to push off the Polish militia. They're going to charge on into the warband. First unit of militia pushed back. The war band are falling beneath the scything blades. All you guys switched around, shot and gauge. Charge my cavalry onto the militia, pick new targets. Commander of the Polish contingent has been killed. Keep fighting, even if it breaks my cavalry. Fourteenth, the wavering.
these men are likely to fall as soon as a musket volley hits them. Oh, friendly fire. Look at that, gloriously poking through the hedges. There! We're going to go break the Polish war band. Oh, the Polish band of militia. Hello, some of their militia have come back. push up to feel the terrain might be hindering progress. So my cavalry unit chased down the militia. There we go, engaging them at point blank. Yep. Shattered and shattered. Good stuff. And we're going to continue because we've got such limited cavalry forces anyway. And it'd be quite nice to kill those pikes. So once these militia have been... killed... Okay, go after them. And then the weak unit over here... We probably aren't going to kill the pikes because they're too close to the edge of the map. You might though, actually now. Seven, four, three, two, one. Hooray! Just march you guys out of the way. These men are likely going to rout. Yeah, there they go. But it's a good victory and it's pushed those wandering troops away from our sector. The Russians have been forced back. The Poles have been forced back. Good. We have resecured our church school. And our armies can't undergo any replenishment because all of our money is being spent over on the eastern front. So maybe Poland. Maybe Poland we can peace out. Uh, lots of tech. No. I don't want to give them lots of tech because I don't want them to uh, give it to their allies. Which is the Russian Devils. One more turn to a socket bayonet. So let's hit end turn. We're likely to be attacked in the west by the Louisianans. But really we can only focus on... We've only got the budget to focus on one front at a time. Poland is continuing their crusade against the Prussians. Unfortunately it's sucking out most of the Poles effort. Which should give us time they're, they're building up their strength too bad we didn't get a turn of replenishment there but uh, yeah what are you going to do it doesn't mean that's where our <laughs> we're going to hop straight over there and reinforce those troops as quickly as we can now the Mughals are able to, com to uh, compete in the naval theatre which is good Cherokee are carrying on with their with their uh, nefarious schemes. The Barbary states are fortunately getting gobbled up every time they try and push on the um, push on the Italian states. Good socket bayonet. So now, ooh, it's a good amount of cash. Okay, so maybe they ought to go for Tartarianism to get the town wealth boosts. Um, it's not going to be great from a happiness perspective, but with the British Empire, peace citizens don't have to be happy for it to be successful. So you may replenish as much as you can. 
God damn, these forces are expensive. Get into the star fort. March! Looks like they're coming back to try or try again. But at least this time we will specifically have a, a breach for them to try and push into again and again and again and again. I might you might even be worth taking running like an, a spare full there. Ah, he's not all the way in. Agent recruited. Got, another, got a spy in Algonquin territory. Okay, go and infiltrate Louisiana. What do we expect to find? I mean, you men can march on and just destroy that force there. But again, we can't do anything about it. Let's push you guys up. Can you guys leave? You can. Good. So you've still got this army to the south, sieging Savannah, where they're so they're being attrited every time, attrited every turn. Actually, I might send the spy down towards Teleco because that's going to be the dangerous spot. It's two quite significant Cherokee cities in one position. You guys need to. Re I would like you to replenish. Then you could have pushed out and hit these forces and drive them out. Election results, as long as everyone's four star, I'm not really bothered. Okay, let's hit end turn. Need to burn a lot of early end turns because we are running out of cash. To do everything we would like to do. Russia is expanding into Polish territory. I would very much like it if they were to declare war on Russia. That would be very useful for me. Right, so we're being attacked in all directions, but this force is depleted. We've got a big force coming in. It's mostly militia, so it's going to suffer from morale problems, and another force that's depleted as well. It's going to be a bit tighter because we don't have as many good troops. But fortunately, this full strength infantry unit outside means we do get a mortar at least. So let's do something like this. And we are being attacked from all points of the compass. So my one gunner is going to, going to deploy to fight, uh, to cover the, the, the existing breach with canister shot. Then the rest, well, the rest of our troops spread out, point every direction, and uh, try and do as much damage as possible. I doubt we'll get spikes. <gasps> we do get spikes. Good. So let's deploy. Although I've done this before, actually, with the mortars, and they've, they are—they are—they do just cause more grief than without quick blame. <laughs> They just seem to do a lot more damage to my own men. So let's get units on the walls. These units that are very depleted, their job is to spread out and deploy spikes. Uh, probably going to keep my clansmen down. But then my grenadiers. You have to maintain position on the walls. So I'm going to keep every direction covered. We're likely to see more walls get breached, but we're also likely to see a significant effort going... A significant effort uh, by the enemy to just focus on the existing breaches. Anyway, so... That'll do. Fire it will off. Cavalry hunker down inside for now. Infantry plus general. Wait and see what you find. Actually, no, don't wait and see. It's dumb. Deploy an almighty array of stakes.
Just deploy them everywhere. Have it so that no Russian cavalrymen can run through the center of our town or our <laughs> position. Good. So, drop these men back here to hold like a, a main position. Put these men inside the uh, command HQ. It would be hella useful if you guys could man your guns the way you are supposed to because you do have enemies coming at you. Might put one of my clansmen actually up on the walls here. Uh, so these men are my reserve. Good, it would appear that they're. Cavalry seems very de determined to just run in. Oh no, they want my mortars. Yeah. Well, they can have them. The sooner my mortars are defeated, which are fairly useless, the sooner my reinforcing infantry can enter the field. Actually, these grenadiers could probably go... Here, back to back with some line. Oh, please charge in, cavalry. There'll be nowhere for you to go. So the second are down are going to take one of the positions here. The first. So they're up here engaging the enemy as they bear. Here comes a here comes some lovely cavalry. General's bodyguard, no less. Straight into the spikes. I suppose technically this is actually not a great idea. Because it does give their cavalry another angle. To get into the to get to get into the uh, fort. Militia sure coming in. Here comes another general's bodyguard. Is there actually a general in this one? Yes, there is. There he is. He's manoeuvring his way through. leaving himself exposed somewhat. All my Highlanders with their handguns are opening up. Here comes another general's bodyguard. There we go, general's been shot off of the off of his horse. And there comes another Russian nobleman. Oh no, this is oh no there he is. Yeah. What happens if you run side on to spikes? Well, I suppose it, it's very clear. I wonder who that was that died. Infantry, hurrah! Run in. Building lost. Command HQ. Oh. My Highlander Warband in there. Another cavalry unit charges in. But they're losing decisively. The 
get the line infantry over here, get my Highlanders inside. Looks like they are trying to explore other ways in, but their cavalry is paying the price. It looks like my men can't fully get out because the clansmen are still trying to get in. You're making a big mistake. Here comes the 18th Regiment of Horse, the Viborn Vibornier Strozzi. No, they've changed their mind. Drop into square in case the light horse decide to try and intercept you en route, which it looks like they definitely are. Taking your time, you have no cavalry, so you have no artillery, sorry, so you have no way in. No way in bar scaling the walls or going through the existing breaches, so... Ooh, okay. If these men could fire enough another volley, that would be great, because that would see them off no trouble at all. Okay, now they're starting to uh, push in. Cavalry pushed in temporarily. Good. Oh, come on, cavalry. They're slaloming their way around the uh, spikes. At the very least, also, it does provide a bit of a blocker in the combat area. So... Uh, These units will. These units will. Like, infantry units will have to stop and try and clamber over these obstacles. Infantry. Okay, mass charge coming in. I think these cavalry are running around to try and intercept the 34th, but I don't think that's going to help. Because the 28th, they've also picked up positions. Here, they're going to try and cut them down as they pass their position. Well, it looks like they're not going to get the shots off. Oh, they are. Don't stint. Run in. Run, run, run. General's bodyguard is going to be cut down by the spikes. Another Russian leader. But here comes the man. Cavalry aren't a problem. But I'm pretty sure these guys do have to, yeah, they do have to kind of clamber over these. They don't take long, but they do have to clamber over them. Which does give me a bit more time to engage. So they're charging in, so now it's my clansmen that are going to be engaging. And we're also going to be firing into them as they get into the building. They're both wavering already. Here comes more cavalry. Where are you going to go? This is a real pickle. Straight into the defences. So we are firing down into the combats from the walls. Granted, some of these men have only got pistols.
they may find themselves some temporary respite, but uh, the 9th Regiment are cutting down on many Russians. Hey! These guys charged in. The second Royal Welsh will take care of you. No matter, actually. Although, you men can push up and my cannon can just... My gun crew can fall back. My warband is losing, but the militia are wavering and they've broken. So now it's the Cossack infantry versus the Highlanders and they are also wavering. There's a lot of men trying to get in here. Another militia unit that's winning and a Cossack infantry unit that's winning. Let's throw in the 35th Regiment of Foot. Support your Highlander brothers. Keep firing. Keep engaging. See down here, when the militia charge up like this, they can't use their superior numbers as easily. Oh, hold on over. Phew. My foot was wrapped around all the cables plugging into my microphone. And I yanked something out. I thought, oh, nuts. Um, turns out, though, it pulled out the aux cable from my headset. So it's the, the best possible uh, uh, res best possible result. Good, more militia routing. Let's get these Cossacks into the mix. Let's get these Grenadiers to cover the gatehouse instead. Hatchets raised. Here come the Highlanders. Yeah, they're eager for now. tent can come around and cover these guns. This whole stream of Russian troops running away. It's beautiful. Bring you guys over to here. The ninth are back up and ready. Firing down into the combat, or firing down to the base of the wall here. Mm, Cossacks are in. See, so at least my. Actually, my, there you go. If you guys fire at will, you can fire into the, the head of the columns as they push in. Although it would appear they do not quite know where they want to go. You men are going to clear out those pikemen, no problem. The grenadiers are going to pour fire into the centre. The militia, of, the militia, are oh, the Cossacks have also started to push in as well. Whoa, frame rate drop. Yeah, you've seen off the pikemen. The militia have broken. The Cossacks have broken. Beautiful. You Russians really ought to think twice before trying to get into one of our towns. Oops. Plenty of musket ammunition left. The men can pour lots of fire into the men. The first regiment up to three chevrons. 
the first are really outstripping the second. Okay, now they've brought some artillery onto the field. The Highlanders, Highlanders have seen off the militia through pistol fire. curious to see where these cavalrymen are going to go. I want them to run straight into my lovely little trap. I'm going to speed up time because right now they're doing a bit of dithering. Which means they don't really know where they want to go. They're kind of running around outside the walls going, hey, how do we get in? Can we get in through? No. Can we get in through? No. Can we get in through? No. Who's that? This is a proper line infantry unit. The fifth. So the hell of the head of the column is being shot to bits. There you go, they're gonna try and assault the command HQ. Many men have died trying to take this building. You men are not the first. You will be the last. See him off. I missed. Good stuff. So you got some Cossacks coming around the flank. We've got to keep an eye on this section of the wall here. But it looks like we've got some more Russians coming in. But they can't make up their mind as to... Right, there they are. There we go. The second that currently have had no business. Took down one militiaman. Yeah, it looks like their decision-making processes kind of suck. And they are now unsure how to get in. Because we repulsed lots of their initial advances. Here's another regiment, the 20th Regiment of Militia. It's being gunned down from musketry from the Command HQ. Sadly, it will not fall, but we are more than happily... You will more than happily gun them down before they even attempt to attack. She's not bringing in lots of fresh units. The Cossacks have finally made landfall on this front, hitting the second Royal Welsh. There we go. Militia attempting a different vector of attack. They're going to go hit the Royal Welch. Second. Oh no, they're not. Oh, they're going to go after the armory. You guys are pretty pants at the automatic firing. Fortunately, the 30th are not. Oh, cavalry! The Hussars. Yeah. Racking up the cavalry bodies. There they go, the Cossacks. One militia's been repulsed. The 19th will likely suffer the same fate. Did they go after the command headquarters? More than likely. The officer's going to lead the way. Let me make it in. No. His men have had enough. But 
the speed up time. Because it looks like... Yeah, they've got to the point now where they've got so few men, they're going to push men in one unit at a, at a time, and they're going to... Well, the tenth won't even make it, no. Regiment of Horse, you can break out and go take out their guns. They do have some cavalry, or they did have some cavalry loitering. Yeah, there it is, the 18th. Knock out their guns. Some more militia attempting to make their way into the command headquarters. Their cavalry's realised what I've done. These men, the 10th, the 9th, they've done pretty well holding them off for as long as they have. Keep attacking, kill the gunners, run on to the 2nd. One militia unit routing, another charging in. And they've been pushed back. I think there might nearly be everyone there. A unit of Cossacks outside, and another unit of militia attempting to run around the flank, but that's probably nearly about it. Then go hit the Gdynistrodzi. Cossacks have been routed. Oh no, they haven't. Okay, let's speed up time now, though. We've seen enough slaughter. They've been shattered. Thing to bear in mind now, though, is... I could chase them down, but... I think I probably will, actually. I was about to say I'm not going to, for some reason. These guys are routed. That's going to be it. Which likely means my general can also push out. And also get involved in the slaughter. Let's run my general around into them. Because that might convince them to rout. It has. Continue. But. Grenadiers have run out of ammo. Let's make sure we've got fire at will turned off. They're only militia, but as you can see, they're actually quite big units. And they're actually, when it comes to siege defence, they're not terrible. Ah, well, there we go. They wouldn't let me slaughter them, so maybe it counts them all as dead. Yes. Yes. Back you go, Russia. You will not have our front line. You're going to be in a bit of a pickle, aren't you? But what I want is... Well, I'm going to dump a load of money into replenishing the uh, Vilnius garrison. Portugal has had an ex excursion to the eastern Mediterranean. Ooh, they're going to actually push out and attack us. That's going to be okay. Well, kind of. Stand back, shoot the hell out of them, use our cavalry to run down the bowmen where possible. Actually, it's not bad. Most of their melee infantry are actually pretty knackered. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some slaughter outside Savannah. Cheers, everyone.